Here are the 10 hidden features on Android that you probably didn't know about. By the way guys, thank you for smashing that like button on my last video. You guys are great and I am glad that you enjoyed it. It was very interesting because 82 of you commented saying you were minimalist, while only 20 of you were the rest of the home screen setups. So let's try it again this week. For this video, just destroy that thumbs up button and let's see if we can make it to 1000 likes. Alright, let's get right into it. Google Maps. Now I know everyone knows what Google Maps is, but there is one specific feature that is hidden and it is very useful for when you are lost and you don't have data or Wi-Fi to find your specific location. Now make sure you do this beforehand just in case you need it for the future. So check this out. If you tap on the search bar and scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can tap on make this map area available offline and you will have an offline map for a specific area. This allows you to view all the streets, cities, and you can even do satellite mode when your data or Wi-Fi isn't enabled. Lost your phone. This feature is hidden within the security features in the settings. If you go to the settings, then security, and then owner info, you can type anything in the text box which will be displayed on your lock screen just in case you lose your phone. Data usage. If you don't have a limited data, Android Jelly Bean allows you to program your phone to monitor your data usage. Any phone between Jelly Bean and up, you will have this feature enabled. When you are approaching a high amount, it can warn you when you are going to be overboard, and then it can stop you altogether when you reach a certain limit. This will save you from going over your limit and receiving a costly bill. Game Graphics A lot of Android users love to play hardcore games, but sometimes the game lags due to high graphic usage. So if you want smoother graphic rendering, go to your settings, about phone, and tap on the build number three times. Then developer options will be enabled. Go to developer options and scroll down till you see hardware accelerated rendering and tap on force 4. Make sure to enable this only when necessary because it can drain your battery. Activities. Your app activities are still running after you leave an application and a lot of these apps rely on local cache data so they can load faster. But there are apps that use a lot of activities. So if you want to destroy those activities, you can check the don't keep activities under the developer options and that is all you have to do. Extra Wi-Fi settings. In the Wi-Fi settings, you can go in there and hit the menu button and then you can choose advanced. This will give you extra settings for the Wi-Fi and you will be able to see your IP address as well as your MAC address. You can also optimize your Wi-Fi to save battery and change the Wi-Fi sleep policy so when your phone is in sleep mode, your Wi-Fi is turned off to save some battery life. Silence the ringing. When someone calls you, you can mute the incoming call ringer without hanging up or accepting the call by pressing the volume rocker. LED The app Lightflow can offer you much more control over your LED. You can find this application in the Play Store. I will have a link in the description of this video if you want to go check that app out. With this application, you can alter which types of notification trigger the light and assign different colors to different types of notifications. These small changes make it easier to tell when you got an important notification at a glance without having to touch the phone. It's easy to use and you don't need root. Switching between applications. When in an app, if you have a recent tab button, you can long press it and you will be able to switch to your last application that you were using before. This is great for multitasking and just saving some time when you're going back to an application. Backgrounds HD. If you download the application called Backgrounds HD, you will be able to have a high definition wallpapers. When you set a wallpaper, you can use Backgrounds HD to make the wallpaper fit right in the middle of your home screen and you can use the entire image to fit on your home screen instead of copying it out. Hope you use them to good use. If you know any I missed, I would like to know what hidden features you guys know and don't say the Android version Easter egg feature because everyone already knows about that. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow our social media pages guys. Give this video a thumbs up like I said before and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!